Slocky out him. We back at it. Alright, um, and it says, um, and the Lord put a word of Slocky, and Yahweh met Balaam. Slocky, let me read five, uh, three again. It says, and Balaam said unto Balak, stand by my stand by thy by burnt offerings, mm -hmm. and I will go pre-adventure. And that word there, pre-adventure, is um is uh perhaps mm. so as he didn't know right so it says and uh, pre-adventure the lord will come to me come to meet me and whatsoever he showed me i will tell thee so he wasn't even for sure right he said hopefully you know what i'm saying you want to move this closer yeah see what they do yeah put it down here okay yeah there you go no 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 put it up yeah put it up there you go Put it right there. That's a little better. All right. It's lock yakim. And it says, um, Pre-adventure the Lord will come to meet me, and whatsoever he showeth me, I will tell thee. And he went to the at high place. And Yahweh met Balaam, and he said unto him, I have prepared seven altars, and I have offered them upon every altar a bullock and a ram. And seven is completion also. Mm -hmm. It says, And the Lord put a word in Balaam's mouth and said, Return unto Balak, and thus thou shalt speak. And he returned unto him, and lo, he stood by his burnt sacrifice, he and all the princes of Moab. And he took up this par his parable and said, Balak, the king of Moab, have brought me from Aram out of the mountains of the east, saying, Come curse me, Jacob. And defy Israel, and that word there for uh, defy is um, let me go to First Samuel. Uh, give me First Samuel seventeen and ten. God. And it says, "And defy, and defy Israel. How shall I curse whom the Most High has not cursed, or how shall I defy whom the Lord has not defied?" Right. For it says, for from the top of the rocks I see him, mm. and from the hills I behold him. Lo, the people shall dwell alone and shall not be reckoned among the nations. Because they don't reckon us, man. Right. They consider us how you say uh, uh, niggas in these in these times, man. They look at us like we're we're nobodies in this day and age. And it says, um, who can count the dust of Jacob? And number the fourth part of Israel. Mm -hmm. Let me die the death of the righteous. Yeah. Let my last end be like his. So that's showing yeah. you, man. Yeah. Our last end is going to be glorious. We, uh, 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 Balaam seen our latter end, man. It wasn't no, oh, oh man, these people are going to just be uh, uh, nothing. Right. You know what I'm saying? No, we're going to be glorious, man. And Balaam seen that. Because the Lord opened his eyes to see what our future was. That's showing you it's already been set in stone, man. You know? And you can get that in, what is that, uh, uh, Second Ezra, where it says the kingdom is already prepared for you. Good. Watch. So that's showing you it's already been written. We're already in the kingdom. We're already sipping wine and, right. and, and parlaying. We just got to live it out. Abarath is always be that first fruit. But right. all Jake is in the kingdom, man. Right. All Jake is spiritually in the kingdom. We just haven't got there yet, man. Right. It's already written in stone that all Israel shall be saved. We're all going to be good, man. Right. We just got to go through this, this the play out the role, man. Yeah. Play out the movie. Just like if you watch a movie, you can put a flick you've already watched on. You watched 10,000 times. Yeah. But back in the day, what did you have to have? You had to have that fast forward button. Yeah. You had to sit there and <laughs> yeah. to get to your favorite yeah. part. You yeah. Now you got skips. Mm -hmm. You can skip the scene, but you still got to skip the scenes. Right. The Lord is, is, is hitting a spiritual fast forward on Esau's society so he yeah. can get to the good part. Mm -hmm. That's why it says, for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. You see how that works, man? Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead and yeah, see what that says. Uh, 1 Samuel 17 and 10. Mm -hmm. It says, And the Philistines said, I defy the armies of Israel this day. Give me a man that we may fight together. Now, uh -huh. let me get it in the Hebrew real quick. Mm -hmm. Defy. It's uh, H2778. It's uh, uh, Harapah. 
har har pa. Mm. It means to pull off. Mm. That is to expose. Mm. Say uh, as of surrender, uh, defame. See, to defame. Mm -hmm. mm. Blasphemy, defy. Uh, 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 real reproach of braid. See, mm. so they, uh, uh, Balaam was saying, I can't reproach these people. I can't defile these people, man. Right. There's nothing I can do. These people are blessed. Mm. So that's showing you, even in our downtroddenness, we're still blessed, man. Yeah. We're still because we belong unto Yah Bashim Yah Shah, man. Mm. All right. I'm gonna adjust this real quick. All right, Aki, we just had to adjust a little bit of the view real quick yeah. to get it showing in here, man. But uh, we're just going to continue on. Uh, and it says, back in uh, Numbers 23 and verse 10, and it says, who, he said, who can count the dust of Jacob and number the fourth part of Israel? Mm -hmm. Let me die the death of the righteous and let me let, and, and let my last end be like his. So that's showing you, man, our future is going to be glorious, okay? Right. So we're gonna jump back into the back into the lake. See how things are segue you. Mm -hmm. um, okay, Khan, this is the uh, this is the script we're gonna go into. This is Proverbs 1 and 22. And it says, How long you simple ones will love simplicity, and you scorners delight in knowledge and fools that scorners it's like and scorners delight in their scorning and fools hate knowledge. Because All right. go ahead, Khan. All right, man. Right, man, this uh, this Egyptology crap, that's simplicity, man. I'm just saying, yo. Right, man, this Christianity crap is simplicity. Yeah. Islam is simplicity, man. Right, man, all of these other philosophies and doctrines, man, is simplicity, is simplicity man. Right, man, and polite, he's into Egyptology, which he really don't push it, but... But, but he believes in it to a certain extent, all right? But he's into simplicity, man. All right, man, and the brothers already confounded him, already, on the word evil. They asked him, they asked, they, they asked him, well, what does evil mean? And he's just standing there like, uh, 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 he's, he's like, he's you should know this. He's leaking. He's not right. as sharp as he once was. Right. What, what Bain say? He says, victory has made you weak. Yeah. Go ahead, Ock. All right, man. All right, man. Basically, man. Like, he's basically trying to get his attention back. He's basically trying to get his, get his followers back and con some more people. And all of that. That's why he cannot go back to New York, man. Because if those niggas in New York want to kill his ass, man. All right, man. But, but basically, man, this truth cannot this truth cannot be stopped, man. Period. This truth cannot be stopped, man. Like it says in Second Ezra, I think it's six and twenty-eight. It says, it says, uh, let's see, God it says, uh, for faith. Flourish. Um, let's see if I can find it real quick. Uh, said, like the brother said, Egyptology is simplicity, man. Mm -hmm. It's simple because it, it's not it's not gonna lead to righteousness. Where where is that gonna lead? Where is that gonna lead polite and his followers? That's why it says, if you love me, feed my sheep. This dude done dipped out on his flock. Yeah. You know? Uh, this God. is uh, yeah, Second Ezra six and twenty eight. It says, "As for faith, it flourish. Mm -hmm. Corruption shall be overcome, and the truth which has been so long without fruit shall be declared." I mean, and this truth is being declared throughout the four winds, the four corners of the earth, man. All right, man. So it's being declared, man, and and uh, and all of these corruptions like. Egyptology, Christianity, Islam, and all that is being overcome, man, by this truth, man. So it can't be stopped. Be our argument because it's always strong. Get that real quick if I can find that. Uh, I got a precept. This is um, Proverbs 23 and 4, and it says, 
Labor not to be rich, cease from thine own wisdom. And what do you see? Polite is labor to be rich. He's labored to have that lifestyle of, uh, of the rich and famous type. He wants Giuseppe's shoes and he wants to hang around with ball players. He wants, to, he wants that life, man. But uh, you're laboring at what cost? You're, you're willing to, 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 to sell and play on people's needs. Because that's what a snake, oil man, a, snake, uh, a snake oil salesman does. He plays on your needs and then swindles you because you need that. Because you're trying to get, if you're sick or, or you got this pestilence or you know you need this or you need that. That's what these guys at the churches do, man. Right. Those pastors at the churches, they're taking advantage of people's needs, man. People are looking for something that's tangible, something that it means something. To know that there's a, you know, the creator, they try to, to understand them and they go by these guys that are so-called calling themselves teachers or, 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 or uh, uh, ambassadors of the Lord, but they're just taking advantage of those people, man. Okay? Let's see. Um, okay. Oh, oh, it's first edge. Okay, first edge is uh, 4 and 38. Mm -hmm. It says, okay. Come. Second, uh, no, first edge is 4 38. It says, Come, uh, as for the truth, it endureth uh. and is always strong. It liveth and conquereth forevermore. Uh. And that's uh, and that's showing you that this. And look what's happening now. That's what you guys saying. Oh, that's a new name. No, the Lord's name is a part of this truth. Mm -hmm. It's conquering over all. Mm -hmm. Just like when um, Elijah died, he was the only one left. Right. The Most High said, "Look, I have seven thousand men that have not bowed the knee to Baal." Right. That's the same thing with this truth. It never went anywhere. It just it just constricted. It just went right. smaller. It, it it went compacted, man. Mm -hmm. But then now it's growing and it's growing. That's like the apostles say. It's like that mustard seed. This mustard seed is becoming the. It's it's taking over the whole earth. Right. You got multi platinum artists that are talking about Israel. You got uh, a multiple. We got multiple artists that are coming out to know about Israel. Mm -hmm. Football players know about Israel. Yeah. The elites of this world, which are the main ones we worried about, they know about Israel, man. Right. There, there is so much that they, they, they don't know how to try to combat it. Because now, at first, they could lower out videos and do this. Now there's so many videos coming out, man. There's so much truth coming out, so much prophecy speaking. If we weren't the ones, why is our word? That's why I says you shall know a prophet has been among you right. when these things come to pass. And we we did not do it. Right. We're not some kind of great ga gaspy movement, right. bro. This is the Lord. We didn't have no power, man. We were just niggas, right. niggas on the corner until the Lord saw fit to wake us up, man. Right, right. Because we didn't just didn't just wake up out of bed one day. I'ma say, oh. So let's just call ourselves uh, Israel and throw on some garments. Yeah, we just we just right. jotted down some Hebrew. We made up our own text. You 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 think we're that cold blooded, bro? <laughs> to make Man. up a whole alphabet, right? And then make up a language for it, right? And then speak it, right? But it happens to match the ancient language. That other other nations had too. Yeah, just all of a sudden. Come on now, man. Come on, man. This is the spirit of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, waking up Israel, man. The valley of the dry bones, right? Yep. Right, man. Right, man. Skin and sinews is coming is coming back on Jake, man. Uh. Right, man. And sinews and sinews is what is what holds everything together, man. Yep. Come, come. Right, the man. Ten, holds them tendons, right? The muscles, you know. All right, man. So, basically, man, like it says, when this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached throughout the world, man, then shall the end come. The prophecies are popping off. Why? Because this truth is coming out. If we're not the people, then why is then why is this happening then? Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> why is it happening then, man? If we if we're not the people, then why is it happening? Because we are the people, man. All right? This is a precept. This is Psalms 17 and 15. It says, ask for me, I will, it says, ask for me, I will behold thy face in righteousness. Mm -hmm. I shall be satisfied when I awake mm. with thy likeness. Yeah. Because it says we have the mind of Yahweh Shai, man. Yeah. 